let's go to interviewing for eye pain. We have here the differences between full or excess or empty and deficient or deficient character of eye pain. So for the onset, okay, a full or young character of eye pain would be sudden. Uh, it occurs during the day and uh, morning and it's chronic and persistent. While the empty or yin character of eye pain would be gradual, occurs at night, afternoon, and uh, chronic on and off. The full or young character of eye pain will have swelling. It would be severe or unbearable, inflamed, red and hot, and uh, pressure would be worse with pressure. For the empty or yin eye pain, there is no swelling. Intensity would be dull or mild. No redness, it is not hot, and the patient feels better when you apply pressure. <clears throat> Temperature, uh, for full or young eye pain, it's worse with heat, better with cold, and there is pain with irritability because it affects the liver, and uh, the pain would be like needles. For empty or yin eye pain, worse with cold, better with heat, but And the pain would be without irritability because there is young deficiency and the pain is mild. Full or young eye pain would um, be worse after eating and uh, there would be redness and the excretions are affected. So we're referring to urination and defecation and there will be moving of the eyeballs. For empty or yin eye pain, the patient feels better after eating and it is worse when hungry. No redness and the excretions, the urination and defecation are not affected and the eyeballs are not moving. Eye pain should be differentiated according to its radiation. If the pain radiates to the occiput, the greater yang channels are affected. If it radiates to the sides of the head and the outer corners of the eyes, the lesser yang channels are affected. If it radiates to the nose and teeth, the bright yang channels are affected. And if it radiates to the top of the head, the liver channel is affected. Eye pain should be differentiated between internal and external. Furthermore, internal eye pain should be differentiated between deficiency and excess. Eye pain of external origin is mainly due to invasion of wind heat and is characterized by sudden onset, sticky eyelids, and streaming eyes. Eye pain of internal origin should be differentiated between deficiency and excess. The most common internal excess types of pain are liver yang rising, liver fire, heart fire, liver wind, dump heat, phlegm heat, blood stasis. Eye pain from a full condition is often accompanied by swelling and dampness. The most common types of eye pain due to deficiency are liver blood deficiency, heart blood deficiency, and kidney deficiency. Thank you for your attention.